Oh, hey, 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 shut up. So Portuguese, okay. No, no. Brazilian. Hey, shut up. So, I'm, I'm going to talk about Red, that is uh, an ORM that I'm developing, and it's in Proceed. And, sorry, this is my, again, I didn't say that. Uh, this is my first English talk, so probably it will be terrible. So, no, no, no. Uh, okay, so the idea behind the behind Red is doing an ORM that is integrated with the Pro6 type system. It, it is very the idea is to you create a model as you were creating a, a class. So it would they need to be easy and I only add some few steps on class definition to make it be a, a model. So this is an example. Uh, it, I, will, I wrote a lot of code, sorry. Pro I don't know if it will be good to everything re everyone read it. But let's try. This is an example of a, a red model that's a country that has an ID and a, a name and stuff like that. So just to uh, point everything that we are doing here, here we are using red, of course. Uh, this is where I define, define what's the class, what's the model I'm, I'm creating. Here I define that name is a column. And this will create a, a field on database. And it, will, it says that it should be on the, on the table, on the database table. Serial is the same as column, but it, it does, a, does a column. That is a primary key and auto credentials. Uh, this is a special uh, dynamic variable that holds the the database connection object. Uh, so the, this way, every is what how write knows what database to connect and do that its stuff. Here, recreate the database. Here, I'm creating a country inside the database with Brazil name. And this is how I get every row from the table country. Just to understand a little better what's happening on the, that code. The create table the, runs that SQL. It, it runs the create table and it creates the both fields that are is defined it, sorry. <laughs> defined it on the model. This creates a, a country. Uh, as, you, as you said as you saw on the database, it is using SQLite. SQLite, sorry. SQLite? I don't know. SQLite, sorry. So, uh, SQLite do not, you, uh, do not have the returning uh, keyword on select. So, we have to, after insert, we have to select the last inserted row. Different from Postgres, if you pay attention, pay attention. Uh, inside that block, we are defining another value to the red DB, uh, the dynamic variable. So that create, that count create, uh, use Postgres, and it uses a different uh, version, a different definition of SQL. So it's user return and don't need to do the select after that. Now the, what I think it is, the, is the interesting stuff. The country wall return a kind of sequence 
that's called uh, result set. And uh, when you try to get the information of that result set, then the SQL is, is run. So when you do that country all, you are uh, saying every object returned, right? every row returned by the database, so it runs the select and this country new is what is returned by, by that, is what's print, printed. You can grab it too, so here I'm grabbing all, all countries with what the name starts with B. So it goes to the SQL, to the select, so it includes a where clause that says country like B percent sign. And here it can do uh, manipulations on the return of the select too. I'm concatenating a country to country with the name of the country. So it does on the SQL, not with the, on the return. I don't get the, the database data and then uh, concatenate. The database concatenate that for me. I don't know if it will be possible to read. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> um, for, sorry for boring you all because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here is something that we didn't use on the previous, uh, on the previous slide. Uh, here we are creating a country, uh, the same as the last one and a city, but in this case a country is related to uh, one or more cities and one city is related to only one country. So uh, if you take a look here uh, on where it is marked circle, circle, thank you, where it is circle, uh, I'm creating a new column that's a, a foreign key on the database for the for the country table, and here I I say that it it's a relationship. So I create an, an, a special attribute on the model, this attribute country that returns the country that's side that is correspondent to the country ID that was set before. And I know that it's a relationship to one country because, uh, as you saw, there's a dollar sign. So it's a scalar value, so there's only one country for city. And here, inside the city, uh, there's a, another relationship that with a net sign. So one country has a list of cities. Here, I'm getting all the name of all cities of a, a given country. So, here again, but I'm not getting the, the name. I'm getting the, the, how many cities are, are included on database for that given country. Okay. Here is how I create a new city inside of a country. I can only get the country object and call the method city dot create and it will create a new new city inside that that country. Uh, yeah. So this is what that code runs the the create. It will insert a, a country with that name. Oh, I got everything, sorry. <coughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 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 Yes. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that uh, Red tries to create the, the best possible SQL to handle what you're asking him 
it should. Uh, I'm remembering it's a uh, work in progress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here the city. Oh, you if you remember that uh, the two talks are before uh, about the hyper operators. Uh, here we are using it. <coughs> we are saying country dot cities uh, greater than greater than dot main dot join. Uh, this will this works as that the name will be called for each city from that given country. So, but this is this is what uh, the SQL that we are running. <coughs> it, yeah. Again, yeah. If you remember, I, I said that this I, I'm not I'm not getting anything about the cities. Only the the counts of how many cities are there on the country. So it only get, get a count. Right. It, it works because it doesn't try to run the SQL on when you run the method. It will be chaining uh, result sets until you try to get the, the real data. So with the result of the chain of the result sacks, it now knows how to create a scale acquiring to, to run. Yeah, uh, it works also with different uh, different files because if you don't uh, the syntax that we are were using until now, we had to have the types inside the same class, the same file. To to I can to we call them use the name of the type inside the other type, but the, there is a syntax that you don't need to do that. You can uh, it a uh, lazy a uh, lazy load. Yeah, thank you. So you can lazy load your your relationships and your Referencing stuff. Okay, here is the new, the this new syntax. This two. Uh, this and so uh, to use the this uh, this model with define it in different files is the same as you would defining on the on the same file. But here there's something different that I don't remember what I did. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, Red also knows how to do interpret uh, your functions inside maps. So it sees there's a map that if there is a leak, it will it return the nick concatenated with some string and also it will return name and that is the SQL that is created is run it with the, uh, the case etc etc and that really works I run and copy uh, copy copy with the best sorry copy the best okay copy and paste them yeah. so uh, I think that's all on that. Sorry for everything. <laughs> <laughs>